Hello friends, today I would like to start a new <coughs> module on DC machines. As you all know, electrical machines is one of the most important subject as far as electrical engineers in con are concerned and DC machines also forms a very important uh, topic in that uh, vast subject of electrical machines. So let's start with DC machines today. Before starting with any important concepts on DC machines, let us go through some simple basic terms which you should know before starting with the topic. Uh, so basically in DC machines, what we will be covering are the concepts of the DC motors as well as the concept of the DC generators. So even before beginning all these things, let me just draw a black box here. This is a black box and let this be an electrical device. This is an electrical device. So you don't know what is inside that. Okay. So how do you interact? Uh, with this particular electrical device. So to interact with any electrical device, you use ports. Okay. So there are one port networks, there are two port networks, there are three port networks. But as far as DC motors and DC generators and transformers are concerned, we will be dealing with two ports. All right. So this electrical device has two ports here. Let me call this is port one. So this will be port one and this will be port two. So the external world, so this is the external world here and this is also the external world. The external world can interact with the machine through these two ports only. So you don't know what is inside this actually, how many windings are there or you are, you are not able to see all those things. You are interacting it with certain ports which are available. All right. So I hope the concept of port is clear. It will be much clearer when I uh, start explaining the DC motor and DC generator. So let's start with putting a drawing of the DC generator here. So this is a DC generator and uh, this is a DC motor. All right. So as I told you, there are two ports of interaction. So this is my port one and this is my port two and this is my port one for my DC motor. And this is the port 2 for the DC motor. All right. Now, what is generator? A generator takes in electrical, sorry, the generator takes in mechanical energy and it converts it into electrical energy. Therefore, in the port 1, you are having mechanical energy and in the port 2, you are getting out electrical energy. So, your point of interaction is here. The port 1 becomes the input port here and the port 2 becomes the output port here. All right. Similarly, for the DC motor, what does DC motor do? In fact, what does any motor do? A motor takes in electrical energy and it converts it into mechanical energy. Therefore, at the input port here, or I am calling it as port 1 also, you are having electrical energy which goes inside and at the output port, you are having the mechanical energy. All right. Now, the another important concept here is that in any ports, you are having two types of variables. One is called the potential variable and the other is called the kinetic variable. So in port one or the input port here, you are having the potential variable and you are having the kinetic variable. What are these variables? Well, what are these variables depends upon the domain under consideration. Now in port one for DC generators, you are having mechanical domain for mechanical domain. The potential variable is torque and the kinetic variable is angular speed omega. Similarly for port 2 also you are going to have potential variables and kinetic variables. So because the port 2 is an electrical domain, the potential variable will be voltage or let me call it as E induced EMF and the kinetic variable will be current. All right. I hope it's clear. Let us go towards the motor side. The motor side has port 1 which is electrical energy. Therefore, the potential variable will be voltage and the kinetic variable will be current. At the port 2 side, you are having mechanical domain. Therefore, the potential variable will be torque and the kinetic variable will be omega. Alright. Let me put up a third device here for more better clarity <coughs> which I am calling as the transformer. The transformer also has two ports of interaction, but what does a transformer do? Sorry, the transformer basically takes in electrical energy and it converts it into electrical energy. 
what it does is a subject of another discussion what we have to understand now is that at the input port and the output port the transformer has electrical energy therefore because uh, both are electrical quantities you are having potential variable kinetic variable as v and i here so differentiate between the two ports let me put numbers here v1 i1 and v2 i2 so this is port 1 and this is port 2 the important thing here to understand is that in a device like a transformer the relationship is a direct relation that means the potential variable of port 1 is having a direct relationship with the potential variable at port 2 that means the relation is direct so it is a direct relation what about dc motors and dc generators well in dc motors and dc generators they are also called gyrators you are having a crosswise relations what is a crosswise relation a crosswise relation is a relation in which the potential variable of one port has a relationship with the kinetic variable at the next port so torque is having a relationship with current and the angular speed is having a relationship with the induced emf or voltage for motor also you are having the same crosswise relationship when you derive the expressions you will get the expressions and uh, torque also you will have an expression with current and the induced emf will, uh, will have an expression with uh, angular speed for the induced emf you will not have an expression with current so that's what I'm trying to tell you. Now, because usually effect is proportional to cost and in the output you get the effect of the input. So based on this uh, cross relationship, the kinetic variable is related to the potential variable. So current will have a relationship with the torque and the voltage will have a relationship with the angular speed. In this case here for the motor, the omega will have a relationship with the voltage and torque will have a relationship with the current when you derive all these expressions you will understand this much clearly the importance of all this thing which i am explaining now is to have a intuitive understanding of things because even if you forget certain expressions you at least remember that the potential variable is related to the kinetic and the kinetic is related to the potential and once you know what is the potential variable and what is the kinetic variable you can make conclusions out of the equations so i hope that you have understood this very introductory part of dc machines i have not gone through the basic concepts now i just wanted to start with the uh, definition of ports and all those things in the next session we will start with the faraday's laws of electromagnetism the concept of cross products which is very important in understanding the uh, direction of induced emf and all so i will see you in the next lecture please like share and subscribe the channel uh, for more videos like this and i wish you all the best thank you